John here with Silver Cyclers. Today, we're going to talk about valve protection. Now, one of the common questions asked from our customers before shipping compressed gas cylinders, do we need safety caps? The answer is yes. Now, there are a few exceptions to that rule, and that's found in the CFR 49, 173.301. That's the general guidelines for shipping compressed gases. But for all pur practical purposes and safety, yes, you need safety caps or some type of valve protection. So let's start with safety caps. There are mainly two types of safety caps, low pressure, high pressure. The difference is the size of the opening. The opening on this low pressure cap is about three and a half inches, where on the high pressure it's about three and a quarter. So if you went to a low pressure cylinder, say like a acetylene or a propane, maybe a butane cylinder, uh, the low pressure cap will screw on pretty, pretty easy. But if, I try to, if I try to place the high pressure cap, it won't even go over top of the threads, and vice versa, if I go to put a low pressure cap on a high pressure cylinder like this a helium cylinder, it goes completely over top of the threads and it's not safe. So before you ship, you need to look at your cylinder and go, okay, uh, are they low pressure or are they high pressure? How many caps do I need if I don't have any? Every once in a while you come across um, an oversized cap, and they're easy to recognize because, like as I said, they're oversized and this opening is like five inches, so it's pretty easy to see, yeah, I need an oversized cap. So before shipping, look at your cylinders and decide what safety caps are needed. Now, there are some cylinders, like this 100-pound propane, that actually has a steel collar around it, or this medical oxygen that has the plastic collar. As you see, um, the, the metal collar protects the valve, so as does this plastic collar, which protrudes out. And the idea is if the cylinder falls over or something smacks the, the top of the cylinder, that the collar will take the, the brunt of the, the force and not shear the valve off. And as I said, there are some cylinders that don't require safety caps. Uh, one of them would be a medical E-oxygen like this one here. Um, there's no place to screw a safety cap on. There's no place to attach a collar. So this cylinder is actually okay to ship without valve protection. So is this MC. An assembly MC has no place. A B, um, like I said, there's some that fall in that category. Usually it's safe to say from the factory if there's no place like this oxygen cylinder here where you can screw a cap down or there's no place to place a collar, this cylinder is going to be okay to ship without valve protection. Now, if you have those cylinders, you need to give us a call so we can send you the proper equipment so you, when you pack those up that they're protected and the valve's protected, they can be shipped safely and, and, and arrive safely. Now, on shipping cylinders, on this cylinder here, this, this acetylene cylinder, the valve is out. So if the valves are out, of course there's no safety cap or any protection needed because there's no gas in the cylinder. So remember, when you, before you ship, kind of take an inventory and look at your cylinders. Do I need high pressure caps? Do I need low pressure caps? Uh, are the valves gone? Do I need no, you know, there's no need for caps at all? Uh, do they have valve protection? Were they designed without any valve protection? And like I said, that way it gives us a better idea of how to help you ship those cylinders safely. Remember, if you come across something you're not sure of, give us a call at Silver Recyclers and we can help you with that. Thank you.